Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the coupling radical mechanism step. Uh, coupling is what happens when two radicals combine to form a new sigma bond. Okay, so what that looks like, let's let's uh, well, let's be generic first and then take some X's represent some, some generic things. Uh, draw them here. These two radicals are going to come together and form a new sigma bond. So let's draw what that outcome looks like first. Uh, I'm going to have a sigma bond. I'm going to have an X on one side, an X on the other side. Now let's draw some arrows. Awesome yeah. arrows. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble. The, the little arrow drawing window is wanting to show up in the middle of my uh, structures. I don't quite like that. Let me see it here and here. So I have a tendency to like to draw coupling arrows. Uh, as you see them here, like two arrows coming together in, in the space between the two atoms to represent they uh, represent that new bond forming. Uh, there are some other ways to do this, but you will see in a lot of textbooks uh, and websites that this is kind of how it's represented. Um, let's actually draw. Um, Oh, wait, before I do that, uh, an important oops, two radicals, and we're going from two radicals to no radicals. I want to make it clear that this is a radical mechanism step that takes two radicals and you have no radicals, so no unpaired electrons in on the other side. This makes us have a common, this makes uh, coupling a common termination step. And in the context of, of it being a common termination step, uh, One of the things that can happen uh, in radical reactions involving organic compounds is coupling of two carbon radicals. And so I want to draw what that looks like. What that looks like here. Uh, I want it to look, there we go. I want my arrow to look like this, and I want my other arrow to look like that. Draw those two things coming together. Form a new sigma bond between those two methyl radicals. Uh, because of this uh, process where two radicals uh, come together or combine to form a new sigma bond, some people will call this type of mechanism step recombination uh, or annihilation, as in you are annihilating radicals. You have two radicals, you go to no radicals. Uh, and and on and to make it sort of synonymous with the uh, process by which matter and antimatter <laughs> come together. In the next video, we're going to talk about uh, abstraction as a common radical mechanism step. Thank you for watching.